come with me. Come with me to discover the secrets of how thoughts become things, and we will manifest like never before. Come with me, and we'll discover a secret so powerful that will take you far beyond your dreams. Come with me on an unforgettable journey. Come with me. It's already yours. Get ready for this adventure. And I'm thankful for today that you found us. So get ready. The time is now. I'm Zelda Kelly. Welcome to Secrets Laws of Attraction. Hello, hello, and welcome to Secrets Laws of Attraction. I'm excited today to bring this to you. This is a very, very powerful, well, I'm going to say phrase, affirmation, and you insert what you need to in order to bump up. This is raising the volume. This is giving your affirmations and manifestation a shot of adrenaline. This works. And I have clients that it works for, and sometimes within 15 minutes, sometimes the same day, sometimes the day after. But stick with it. You'll be happy that you did. It works. It works. It works. So let's get into this. First of all, I would like to thank Psychic Secrets for giving me this platform. They are such a great advisor psychic reader site. Pop on over there to www.psychicsecrets.com. That's Psychic Secrets. There's two S's in the middle now. Psychic Secrets. Dot com. You can check out the blog, the advisors. I'm on there. I'm an extension 11. But we can help you. We have specials all the time. And we have a really great introductory special for 30 minutes for $30 for first-time callers. That's right. And we can accomplish a lot in 30 minutes. So I want to thank them again for this spotlight for Secrets Laws of Attraction. I'm really honored to be able to host this. I appreciate that so much. So let's get into this. I know many of you have been using affirmations and you get up every day and you think, oh gosh, I'm not seeing any results. I'm not seeing this. Well, this person isn't responding or this situation or the job hasn't called me or I still feel bad or I still feel this and I still this. Well, it's easy to understand that sometimes you get weary during all this because this takes a real vote of confidence on your end and on my end too. I do these things. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I do not bring you things that do not work. They work. And that's why I'm here. So I want you to know that this is a very powerful, powerful phrase that I'm going to be teaching you. So here it is. So this segment may be shorter, but I'm going to tell you it packs a real punch. And when you can really get into using this, oh wow, you're going to be very, very happy. Okay, so here it is. Many of you feel resistance when you say, I know that I know I know. I know that she is coming back or I know that he is coming back, or I know that they are going to be contacting me. And then you start obsessing because you haven't heard. And the more you haven't heard, the more you're obsessing. And then you want it to happen right now. And then it just spirals. And that's not the way this is supposed to be. Laws of attraction, manifestation, vibration is easy. And it is continuous flow of vibrations. All you have to do is just hook on to that. And that's it. I know what you're saying. Zelda, come on now. You make it sound so simple. It actually is. We make it harder than what we need to because we are programmed to disbelieve. 
We are programmed because we want to see instant results. And you know, there was a few back that we talked about ordering from the Catalog of the Universe, how it's just like ordering something online. You place your order and you wait for it to be delivered. You don't go back every 10 minutes and think, okay, now, wait a minute, maybe I, maybe I need to do this or maybe I need to do that. Well, wait, how can I bump up my delivery because I really need it now and I want it now? And then the desperation starts setting in. That's not how to get it fast. If you want to get it fast, then your confidence level has to be raised. But here's how to do it. In everything that you do, First of all, the first phrase is, everything always works out for me. Now, we talked about this before, but this is important to say. If you feel a little resistance, you can say, most everything every works out for me. So, most everything works out for me on a daily basis. Every Most everything works out for me. If your bank account is, well, feeling empty, most everything works out for you. You're still here. You've made it through. Those tough times, a few weeks, a few days, a few months, maybe even a few years ago that you just felt like, you well, you weren't going to make it through. You did. And you're here and you're listening. So remember, things always work out for me. Most always things work out for me. Most generally things work out for me. Okay, so you got that. That's number one. Number two is, I love this one. Wouldn't it be nice if I heard from my specific person? Now, the reason you're going to say, wouldn't it be nice, is because you don't have that desperation feeling. You're still putting that vibe out there. But it's not like, I need you to call me now, and I need you to text me now, or I need this job now, or I want this I want this bank account now, or I want this circumstance now. You have to stand back and take a breath. Stand back and take a breath. Think about what you're saying. Because I'll tell you something. The emotions... And side trip here, when I ask you to write things down, that's what triggers your emotion. I don't ask you to write it down because you think you're going to forget. Writing it down triggers your emotions. That's why you write it down. And then when you go back and read it, it's going to trigger your emotions again. What do emotions do? Emotions transform into thoughts and thoughts become things. So if you write down things desperately, you're going to get desperate. You see how that works? If you can just take a step back and think, okay, most everything always works out for me. And then you go about your business and you allow the universe to work things out for you. Okay, so wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if today was just drama-free? Wouldn't it be nice if today I saw a deposit in my bank account that I wasn't, well, planning on? Wouldn't it be nice if I heard from my specific person today? Wouldn't it be nice if I got a text? Now, here's, here's the tagline that's going to really give this little phrase the big punch. And that is, I know it would make you feel better. Right? So let's go through this. You start your morning out. Everything always works out for me. I'm so grateful. Everything always works out for me. I'm so thankful. Most generally, things work out for me. I'm so happy today. I'm so grateful. Then it is, wouldn't it be nice if I heard from my specific person? I know it would make them feel better. Wouldn't it be nice if I heard from that job today? I know it would make them feel better because I could fill that void that they're needing. You get how this works? Wouldn't it be nice if this particular circumstance happened? I know that whoever's behind it would feel better. Wouldn't it be nice 
that those people that are coming against me would just back off. I know it would make them feel better. Here's what, here's what this is all about. It's taking the want, the need, the desperation out of your equation. And you're basically setting yourself aside with those phrases so you're not getting into the trap of, I really want you to do this today. I really want you to do this today. I really can't. Uh, this is just taking so long. Why aren't you coming through? You know you need me. You know you want me. So here's what you do, all right? You, wouldn't it be nice if you contacted me today? I know it would make you feel better. And when you put a little bit of thoughtfulness and maybe even chuckle, it takes that pressure off. And not only does it take the pressure off of you, but it may take the pressure off of your specific person. Because here's what happens. When you're wanting a specific person, specifically, <laughs> you bombard that person with your thoughts and your feelings and your wants and your desires, and that frequency overshadows them. Think about that. It certainly does. We are able to transmit our thoughts. You don't think so? How, do you, how many times do you get a call where somebody says, you know, I was just thinking about you, so I called you. You know, I was just thinking about you. Or how many times have you called someone and they said, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you. How many times have you heard a song and then the next thing you know, that person pops up in your mind. How many times have you just thought of a person from the past and now all of a sudden you see them somewhere or you get a phone call or an email? That's how this works, my friends. And it also works negatively. Or negatively? Yes. Hello. Can I talk today? I sure can. Okay. So <laughs> it also works from the negative side of things. You've got to be cautious. I just don't understand why this person isn't contacting me. Don't they know that they need me? No, they don't. No, they don't. That you're projecting their need. Be cautious. Be cautious. Because this will and has a tendency to work against you. And you've got to be very careful, very confident. You have to know that you know that you know. And that's why you say these phrases the way you do, because it takes all of that desperation out of things. And when you take the desperation out, it works. It works. Wouldn't it be nice if my boss decided to give me a raise? I know it would make him feel better. And you know what? When you project a positive situation on someone else, it does make them feel better. Why not? I mean, after all, wouldn't it make you feel better to give somebody a raise that was doing their job and working hard? Of course it would. If you're saying no, there's a problem. I want you to think about this. Sometimes we tie the hands of the universe, God's universe, because you've heard that phrase, give it to God. Well, give it to God, give it to the universe. Let the timing work out to be the way it's supposed to be. If you're attracting, manifesting, using frequency and vibration to attract a specific situation, circumstance, or person, and you're pushing it, and it comes out of sync with the universe, what happens? That's, that, believe me, will have an expiration date. It won't last long. You'll get it, but it won't quite be what you want. 
I want you to know how many times I've heard people say to me, and I'm going to use a specific person because I think most of you listening to this is wanting to attract a specific person, whether you know them or not. And that is, oh my gosh, I did all this, I did all this, I did all this. And when they came back, I figured out I didn't want them to begin with. And then it was really, really hard because then they really wanted me and I just didn't want them. Or the timing wasn't right. I wanted somebody to move in with me, but then when it came about, I wasn't ready. I don't have room for that person. I couldn't make room in my dresser. I couldn't make room in my closet. I had somebody else move in, a kid or a loved one or a family member or a friend move in with me, and it was just too crowded, and this person was upset, and they left. Or it could be I did this, and we've done nothing but fight. That's because you weren't ready, and neither were they. You've got to stop thinking that you have the perfect time because I'm here to tell you, my darlings, you don't. That's why you're asking for help. That's why you're asking for the universe to help you out. If you had the perfect timing, you wouldn't be listening to this now. You would already have what it is that you need, want, desire, right? I'm going to use those words because you use them. But I need this. Zelda, I need this. Well, you think you need it. But you have to think about what this circumstance or a specific person brings to the table. So when you're forming your wants, needs, desires, I'm saying that again, it is best to form them in a way that you can kind of step to the side, smile while you're saying that. You're like the cat who ate the canary because you're giving that frequency and the vibration that you're on that packed with a punch. I use this myself. Wouldn't it be nice if a client, now I'm talking about, I have another job, I'm not talking about psychic line clients. Wouldn't it be nice if this specific client decided to use my contract, my specific program, I know it would make them feel better. I know it would bring them value. I know they would be so happy. I know I have a lot to bring to the table. You see where this goes? The more you do it, the more confidence you have. And I can tell you, I get those contracts. And how do I do that? I take that desire of desperation. That's right. Sometimes we desire to be desperate. I just can't, I just can't function. If they would just call me today, if they would just text me, that would make my day. I just can't function. So that's a desire to be desperate. If you can take the desire to be desperate out of it, you're in good shape, my darlings. So just remember... I'm so happy and grateful. Everything always works out for me. Or everything most generally works out for me. Or mostly things work out for me. If you're feeling a lot of resistance. And the more that you say this, the more confidence you're going to have behind it. And then, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if that specific person texts me today? I know it would make them feel better. And I don't want you to put the taglines on, which sure would make me feel better because then I would know that they really want me and they really like me. And one last tale of caution. When you do this and you ask for someone to text you, or to call you. Most people want texts nowadays. So when you ask for someone to text you, make sure you're satisfied with the text. You see, what's going to happen is 
What if they just wrote you and said, hi, or hello, or thank you, or whatever the case may be, what if that was the case? You now manifested this text, but now it ain't good enough. And you're reeling over this. And now you're upset. Well, they only said hi. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're the one who manifested this text. You've got to be in a mindset of maybe that opens up the, the, the right of communication. Maybe that opens up the pathway. Say hi back. Maybe what you need to say is, wouldn't it be nice if I got a text from this person and they ask me how I was? That would really make them feel better. And don't add, because it makes me feel better too, because now I know that they care about me. You see where this goes? Work on yourself. That is the most important thing. If you want change in this situation that you're in, if you're using these affirmations, then what you do is you have to focus on yourself first. Because with change within yourself comes change with all the circumstances, people, situations around you. It is impossible for those circumstances, people, and, and situations not to change if you change. Yeah, but Zelda, I changed and, and this person didn't come around. Well, then maybe, just maybe, this is the universe showing you that this person has moved on, or this person isn't ready, or maybe you're pushing it. Take back, sit back, take a breath, and take stock of what you're doing. But remember, I'm so grateful and thankful that you're here today. Wouldn't it be nice if this was something that really helped you? Because I know it would make you feel better. I want to thank you so much for listening today. I think that you are making so much progress, and I want to hear about it. If you get a chance, let me know how you're doing. But I want to wish you many, many blessings. Be bold and be brave heart, because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here, and I'm so grateful and thankful that I am. And I'd like to thank Psychic Secrets for being here for us as well. So you take care, you be well, and I'll see you next time at Secrets Laws of Attraction. Happy manifesting. Bye for now.